friends, it's Miss Becky. I'm so glad you tuned in this week because we're going to be doing some magical artwork and painting this week. I'm going to show you a few different experiments that are um, really fun ways to be creative and use your imagination to create some really fun, magical kinds of paintings. So um, I will show you what you need for each experiment. And then um, the most important magical part is that you just enjoy and play and have fun. Okay, for your first magic trick, I mean magic painting, we're going to, um, you're just gonna need a heavy piece of paper and then you're gonna need a crayon, um, the same color as the paper, so I have white paper, so I'm using a white crayon. Um, you could also use a piece of a, a candle. Um, and then you're gonna need some darker paint um, I've got black paint here that I've watered down to make it nice and thin. And then uh, you're gonna use, you could also use watercolors. And then I'm using a paintbrush. Um, and you could also use a sponge. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna draw a, um, a secret drawing on your paper um, with your crayon or candle and so I'm gonna draw something um, on here. I'm just gonna draw some words. And then maybe some stars. Um, you could also just draw scribbles or lines or shapes or whatever you want. And then you're gonna take um, a little bit of your paint and then you're just going to gently oops, paint it on <laughs> the paper and look can you see what i wrote there it says magic <laughs> Okay, here's another secret drawing. You see what it is? Some hills and the trees, some stars and a moon. I was sort of inspired by my tablecloth here. And this is a washable tablecloth. Of course, you don't have to draw a picture of a scene. You can draw just scribbles or shapes or practice drawing your name, um, or even maybe even a secret message that you could give to somebody and then tell them to paint with some paint, some really thin paint on top of it and see if they can figure out what your secret message is. Okay, for our next magic painting trick, you're going to need a saucer with some milk in it. And this is a little bowl of dish soap. Here's some cotton swabs and some food coloring. And then I've got some little pieces of paper here. That I'm gonna try to transfer some of the magic that we make onto these little pieces of paper. So once you've got your milk in your saucer, just kind of like a plate with a rim on it, um, you're going to put some drops of food coloring into the milk just like this. Some blue. Green. <laughs> Got some yellow here too. It's kind of orange. Let's see what happens. All right, 
right, so I've got the colors in, and then this is where the magic part happens. Take your cotton swab and you dip it in the dish soap, and then you touch one of the colors. Maybe we should say a magic word first. Abracadabra, it's like my little magic wand. And then, boof, woo, look at that. Wow. Notice when you touch some of the colors, they start moving around. Let's try another one. Oh, there's a green. I wonder if I can get some of that marbly color onto my paper. Let's see what happens. Gonna drop it on there. Just pick it up. Woo, look at that. Cool. I think I'm gonna try a little more color. Doop, doop. I like the green. Let's see what happens when we touch it with our magic wand again in the soap. Boop. Whoa, look at that. Wow. Bet you there's a little science mixed in with that magic. Ooh, look at that. Let's see if we can take a picture of it with our paper. Boop. <laughs> well, I got a green blob. <laughs> so this is a fun thing to play with. And you can get some really cool, like, marbly effects with it. Okay, for our last magic painting trick, we're going to use, again, some watercolor paper, water, and some salt and watercolors. Um, you could also try using... Um, the food coloring. Okay, so I got this wet, and then I'm just going to put some color on here. Mm. Uh, maybe some purple. And maybe some red. After I get some um, color on here, I'm going to experiment with just a little bit of salt sprinkled on my painting. And I'm not sure if you can see it, but what will happen is the paint will start to move away from the salt a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and let that dry and then I'll show you what happens. Okay, now this painting's almost dry and you can see that the salt has created a really cool texture in the watercolors. Okay, so here's just a few examples of some magical kinds of painting that you can do. I'm sure that you could probably think of some magical ways to paint too. Remember, the real magic happens when you just play and have fun. I hope you had fun creating magical paintings this week. I can't wait to see your magical artwork. So if you would please take a picture of them and have a grown-up email it to ashboroughchildrensroom at gmail.com. 
we would love to put your magical artwork up in our gallery. I'll see you next week when we stick around and we learn about, um, learn some fun ways to create homes for fairies and gnomes. Thank you.